So today we're going to take a look at Amazon recognition and try some of their demos. So it's pretty simple to get started. You just log into the console and then select recognition. So as you can see on the left hand side, they have a lot of different demos. So we're going to go through some of them and see what we can see here. So if we click object and scene detection, the first sample image that they give us is a street with cars and someone on a skateboard. So if we hover over the images, we can see what it has recognized. And each square or each box rec recommends or represents an object that it recognized. So it even goes so far as to, to recognize wheels on a car in addition to the car. It can also recognize license plates, although in this particular one it hasn't, and a muffler there, or rather that's a wheel wheels over here, a skateboard there, a car in the distance, and a person there. And then this is the confidence level on the right hand side as far as what it has identified. So automobiles, it's in the transportation category, it's a car, it's a vehicle, a person, a human, a pedestrian, it could be any, any three of those. Sport with skateboard, there's a road, there's a machine, wheels, it's a downtown urban setting. There are buildings, it's a city, there's asphalt, there's parking. So the confidence level decreases as you go down the list here, but we can see what it recognized. So if you, clue, if you choose another image there, let's see what it says about this image. It's a town, it's urban, there's buildings, there's a city, but it didn't draw boxes on anything. So let's try the second demo here, image moderation. So if we view the content of this, what it's de detecting here is explicit or suggestive content or violent content in the, in the images. Um, so it, there are no moderation labels. So if it had the explicit or suggestive content or violent content, um, there would be a moderation label here. But if we click on this one, Um, automatically it doesn't display the content for us, but it's telling us that it is suggestive and there's a female swimwear or underwear and revealing clothing. So we can see that's the case here. And we can, we can upload our sample images if we'd like. Let's go down to the next demo, which is facial analysis which is also interesting because of the results. It looks like a face, it appears to be a female. The age range is 21 to 33. The person is smiling, the person appears to be happy, the person is wearing glasses. Let's show more. The person does not have a mustache, does not have a beard. Mouth is open, eyes are open. You can even see it puts little white dots uh, where it has found a mouth, a white dot where it found a nose, a white dot where it found sunglasses. Um, so it's pretty detailed. Same thing with this picture of three people. The eyes have dots, the nose, the mouth, and it's probably going to recognize facial hair on the male. Although, yeah, this is true. Has a beard, does not have a mustache, so, so that matches. And you can see the confidence level of 93% has a beard does not have a mustache, 68%, probably because there's facial hair would be my guess. Um, celebrity recognition, Jeff Bezos there, 100% confidence. And Andy Jassy here, 100% confidence. So you could upload your own picture and see what it finds in terms of celebrity recognition. Face comparison, so what it's doing here is the girl on the left, is she present in the picture on the right? Um, it's doing a comparison. So the picture on the left is equal to the picture on the right, and they've drawn a square around her in the center of this picture. So, uh, and it tells you the incorrect matches below that. This girl is not this girl in the picture on the right. This girl is not this girl in the picture on the right. So that's how they do face comparison. 
And if we choose this as the input face instead, we can see that it matches her on the right-hand picture and does not match her for the other two people on the right-hand picture. And then if we choose this as the destination picture, it matches her on the right-hand side and does not match her for the other people. So text and image, it finds the text and reports the text in the right-hand side. And then as far as license plate, you could also add this to the object and scene detection to pick up the wheels and the car and the street and the urban setting and all that kind of metadata in addition to the license plate. And then this new feature is called PPE detection. So detecting if a person is wearing personal protective equipment. So there's a person detected, there's a face detected, a face cover, face cover is on the nose is true um, because the facial recognition could detect the nose or not. And it knows that a nose should be right around there. And if the nose is covered in white, then chances are it is covered by the PPE or the cloth or whatever it would be. So face cover on nose, true as a result. Gloves or hand covers, they're calling them. So, and a, and a helmet. So that's an intro to Amazon recognition. And the nice thing about it is you don't have to download the SDK and start working with it. You can simply use the demos to see how it works. And then if you're interested in doing more, you can continue with the SDKs and build your own system. Hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below and I'll try to address them. Thanks.